Welcome back. Time now for our final segment on the weekend edition. Remember, we'd asked you at the start of the show, has conversions pitted Hindus versus Christians in the context of the Orissa violence? We're now looking for some reconciliation uh, because that's very difficult, it seems, in our society. Renukar Narayanan, very quickly, religious affairs editor of the Hindustan Times. Religion in India should be the language or across the world of peace, sacrifice, compassion. In India, it seems to have become a violence and animosity. Why? At the end of the day, we all seem to be on the same side, which is government and society should take very strong economic and developmental action. You believe that's the core? I believe that's the core. Education is the key. Uh, as far as uh, reconciliation goes, the funniest things happen in India. I'm a believing Hindu. The RSS thinks I'm on the payroll of the Jesuits. Right. Okay. So Fair what enough. do you say? Uh, John Dayal, is it possible for evangelical uh, Catholics also perhaps to somehow or the other reach out to the other side. That even if you are in the in the process of conversion, it's process, uh, possible to have a dialogue with the other side. They always do, but it's a matter of the failure of governance. The government failed four times. It failed to control the hate campaign. It failed to protect the Christians in 2007. It failed to protect the Swami. It failed to the... So it is ultimately state failure. It's ultimately state failure. The violence failure. is state failure. Okay, final word from you, uh, uh, Mr. B.P. Singhal. According to Census 2001, 2.3% 2 Christians in India. How can they be a threat to the 80.5% Hindus? Why do you then need a hate campaign against the Christians? What is the nature of the hate campaign, I was asking? There's no hate campaign going on from the Hindu side, sir. You are yeah. no Hindu, no hate campaign. Mr. John Dale has come up with exact spe the kind of speeches that were being used on the ground, the kind of language that has been used, the fact that violence has been committed I've against got, the minority community. I've got mentions of books that have been written for hating. So you will still see the Christian as a threat, is it? No, no, they are. They okay, are, fair enough. They, they are as a threat because I'll tell you no, why. No, no, I, 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 I'm because a because Christianity and Islam. Both are proselytizing. allowed that they will cover the entire world okay, fair enough. into their community. Okay, five, uh, Manu, so Manu, I just have everyone. 10 seconds left. Yes. Give me a voice of sanity. Is there a hope for Orissa and indeed Hindu-Christian yes. relations? Uh, yes. Uh, Hindu, Christian, tribals, Dalits and others all together. Orissa, like the rest of India, needs a peace and development initiative jointly by all parties and all communities, all religions. Well, at the, that's at, what Orissa needs. At the end of the day, I, mean, I think one thing that the country must recognize, Kandamal is the one of the poorest parts of India. And really the answer to the crisis of Kandamal and perhaps the crisis of large parts of tribal India really lies in answering the questions of poverty and development. That's when the religious players then come in and exploit people. That's it, I'm afraid, on this special debate. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's hope and pray, really, for peace in Kandamal. Goodbye. Good night.